following havoc. Nikita Koloff, Terry Gordy, Jake the Snake Roberts, they're no longer employed by WCW. And as we talked about last week, Arn, losing three veterans such as these men, it's painful to any company, especially WCW at this point. Nevertheless, Bill Watts charged ahead with his vision for the company, which includes bringing his son, Eric, into the fold. And we're going to discuss that in this show because, pal, you're involved with some uh, some angles with Eric, and we're going to go over some clips with all that. But uh, as for the departures, the one of the most that affected you and Bobby was that of Terry Bam Bam Gordy because the program you and Bobby were working was with uh, Doc and Gordy, and the building of that never came to fruition. So now he's gone. The injury to Rick Steiner, there's a gaping hole in the tag team division at this point. And as a result, during the month of November, which we're here to talk about today, you often worked against the unified tag team champions of Dustin Rhodes and Barry Windham in either tag matches or six-man tag matches on the house shows. And, uh, and that's where we pick up with things here in November. You ready to jump in? Oh, that's a lot to unpack, isn't it? It is. I just wanted to set the stage properly and get everybody up to speed on where we're at. And uh, we're going to talk about what was going on on television because uh, we're about to show our first clip of the week. You wrestled Shane Douglas and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. These two had recently been paired together and were being pushed as a top tag team here in WCW at this point, Arn. And on the November 7th, 1992 airing of WCW Worldwide, Steamboat and Douglas square off against you and Bobby Eaton. And, uh, buddy, we have the full match. We have the post-match segment. And this goes about six and a half minutes, so we hope you enjoy it. Here we go. It's our first clip of the week. We're going to take a look at what happened when you and Bobby take on Shane Douglas and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Arn Anderson and Beatable Bobby in tag action against Steamboat and Shane Douglas. And while I got a moment here, I want to state right now, Arn Anderson, one of the competitors in that ring, will be in the first round of the Jesse the Body Strongest Arm Tournament next week right here on WCW. And Arn Anderson's opponent will be none other than the Barbarian. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, five times. He's been a world tag team champion, three times. With Jay Youngblood, once with Paul Jones, and once with Dustin Rhodes, most recently. He and Beautiful Bobby tie up, but of course, Beautiful Bobby, a man who certainly has had his share of the world tag team title. Right hand to the face, former member of the Midnight Express. He's, oh, chop back, Steamboat, to the top of the head. He was caught in the cutter, but now Steamboat. Over the top. Andre, take down again. And classic wrestling by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. You can see Michael P.S. Hayes. Whoa! And Steamboat boots Michael P.S. Hayes right off the apron. And the former Freebird ain't gonna take too kindly to that. You're taking a look at Shane Douglas comes in. Shoulder block takedown. Hovers over beautiful Bobby. And tags in Steamboat. Great teamwork. Steamboat off the top. Chop right on the arm. Take a look at two teams certainly chasing the world tag team champions. Dustin Rhodes and Barry Windham. Both have signed contracts to face the world tag team champions. So we're seeing two of the finest teams in WCW right now. You're seeing two of the ranked teams, and the team that gets by this one is going to be the natural opponent for Windham and Rhodes in the world title. Steamboat. Great martial arts skill displayed right there, sending Arn Anderson down after a series of hair pull takedowns. And Anderson backs to the corner. The veteran Arn Anderson, the enforcer, he has been world tag you know, team champion on many occasions with many different opponents. You know what I love about you, tough guy Tony Schiavone? How you selectively see your hair pulling. Earlier this hour, we saw Chono pull the hair, but you didn't see that one. I didn't see it at first. Oh, we but had to that slow-mo instant replay, then you do see it. Collar and elbow tie up. Side headlock. Tag is made. Tremendous clothesline. Shane Douglas with a cover. One, two. Almost got it, but Arn's foot was on the bottom rope. You can only call what you see in this sport, Jesse. Some people call what they don't see. And a veteran like you sees it all. Head first. 
Anderson now at his lethal best. The yeah. enforcer. Absolutely, Anderson, the real veteran in there. He knows where he's at. Look at tag's been made. Try to DDT. Made the tag to Bobby, who slapped the taste right out of Shane Douglas' mouth. Knocked him right off his feet. Totally legal move right there. You saw that beautiful tag by Aaron Anderson, and now beautiful Bobby introducing Rush Limbaugh's nephew into the turnbuckle. Right to the jaw. Tag. Iron Anderson measures it. And the enforcer is going to get down to the team with the best teamwork that prevails in this one. Shane run out of the way. And in competition like this, it always is the team that gets the luckiest, too. Here comes the dragon. Big chop. Oh, he nails beautiful Bobby on the apron. The crowd explodes. Stand up. Reversal by Anderson. In the corner with Bobby in the wrong place. Nails Bobby. Oh, but he turned his back on Arn Anderson. And the knee brought him on the outside. Michael Hayes left hand. And what a beautiful left hand that was. He measured him on that one. Look at the dragon. He's going to have a shiner after that one. The left hand from Michael PSAs. The man who was hired by Polly Dangerously to oversee these two men in the ring, beautiful Bobby and Arn Anderson. Bobby continues to work on the head of Steamboat, and now Anderson goes after the head as well. And why wouldn't they? They got him hurt. P.S. Hayes did the damage with that beautiful left hand, and the experience of Anderson and beautiful Bobby, of course they're going to work on it. They're going to keep Steamboat right in that corner, too, if they can. Steamboat trying to fight out. Trying to slingshot Bobby Steamboat from behind. Waistlock pick up and a backbreaker. Tremendous move by Steamboat. Steamboat, though, just rolls out of the way. He wants to make a tag here. He needs one desperately. Got it. Shane Douglas, the youngster. This the fire now. Sending Bobby in. After Anderson. Up to the near side, pick up Shane with a slam. He's going after Anderson as well. The problem is, though, he needs to concentrate on the legal man and forget about the guy who's illegal in the ring. And that's what he's doing now. He hooks Bobby. Douglas looks. He got him. One, two. Arn with the save. Steve Boot in. Arn's wild here. Two of the top ranked tag teams in the world. saw his opening, came out, did the damage, and now he may end Shane Douglas's career. Oh! Shane's waiting! And now Shane Douglas! Oh, what a wild situation we have there! We have to get the official word! Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, as a result of a disqualification, Shane Douglas and Ricky the Quicker! Wow, what a wild match and entertaining match overall, Arn. How do you, what did you think of that one? <clears throat> well, I think the first thing I'm, I'm thinking is those guys hadn't been partners very long, Steamboat and Shane. Can't tell by watching that match. They, they look good together, man. They were clicking on all cylinders. and he, all, It was a short match, but, man, for a television match, it had a ton of great action. Good pacing, you know, good teamwork on both sides. Uh, Michael Hayes, that left is <laughs> notorious. It is what we call a potato <laughs> in our business. He, he clipped Ricky pretty damn good out there on the floor and turned it to our advantage, and uh, we tried to seize that advantage, but uh, those guys, man, they were on fire.